right, boys and girls, and welcome to Garden Guitar. We have a new song from Linkin Park, a very powerful, cool song, The Emptiness Machine. All right, so we're going to look into this one, a strong song from Linkin Park that's still going on there, no matter what happened in the past. They're going strong here. So uh, let's do this together. We're going to look at this tutorial without any capo needed here. So. With that said, we're going to look at the chords and we have five different chords to handle. Let's go into the chords, starting with D. Alright, so that will be open D, 2nd G, 3rd B and 2nd E. We have G minor next, that's a bar chord. You play the bar on the 3rd fret and you cover all strings there. And then you need to add 5th on A and 5th on D. We have A sharp, I'm gonna go with the sus version here. So that's a bar on the first fret and you bar five strings if you count from bottom and up like this. And then you need to add third fret on D string and third on G. We have the F chord next and that's a bar chord still on the first fret. This time you need to bar all strings and then you need to add third on A, third on D and second on G. And then finally we got the C chord. And that is 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B, and open E. Alright, so we're gonna look into the strumming here to handle the chords. And we have a strumming that is divided into two different parts. So we're gonna look at the strumming and we can grab the first chord, that's the D. And the first part of the strumming will be down, clap, down, up, clap. Right, so that is down, clap, down, up, clap. Okay, so the second part will be up, up, clap, down, up, clap. So up, up, clap, down, up, clap. And if you put these two parts together, it will be down, clap, down, up, clap, up, up, clap, down, up, clap. That is one round. A couple of rounds goes like this. Right, so there you have it. Now let's go into different parts of the song, starting with the verse, and you're gonna play the chord progression D, one full round, G minor, one full round, back to D, one full round, and C, one full round. So one strumming round, both part one and part two per chord. D, G minor, D, C. You're gonna do that chord progression for two rounds. So one round will be like this. So that is one round, you're going to play for two rounds and that is the first verse. Over now to the pre-chorus. Now you're going to play the A sharp, one full round, the F, one full round and C, two full rounds. You're going to play for only one chord progression around like that. So A sharp one, F one and C two, like this. That is the pre-chorus number one and now to the chorus. The chorus now it goes down a little bit in tempo and uh, this is where you just play straight downs okay so just straight downs no strumming like that so you're gonna neglect that for a while and play the chorus and the downs will be for D four downs then G minor four downs then A sharp two F two and C four gonna play that chord progression for two rounds so D4 G minor 4 A sharp 2 F2 C4 so like this G minor 3 4 A sharp 2 F2 and C2 3 4 again D two 
reruns like we just did and that is the course and then comes the post course part you go back again to strumming and now you're gonna play D one full round G minor one full round and now comes the reason for why we're having the strumming divided into two different parts we're gonna play a sharp part one then F part two and then C one full round and that is one chord progression. So D one full round, G minor one full round, A sharp part one, F part two, C one full round. And in this first post chorus part, you're gonna play it for only this one chord progression round. So it goes like this. Okay, and that is the post chorus parts. All right, over now to the second round of this everything in the song. And the second verse is played in the exact same way as the first one. Two rounds of D, G minor, D, C. Then the second pre-chorus, the same there, A sharp, F, and C, played in the same way. And the same goes with the second chorus, and that's it for the second round. No changes there in the second round. After the second chorus, about, or exactly, two minutes in into the song, happens the bridge parts, all right? So this is um, where you're gonna play the downs again. You're gonna start with D, eight downs, then G minor, four downs, and back to D, eight downs. Okay, so far only downs, so D8, G minor four, and D8. Then we're about half in, we're gonna go and start the strumming. So the strumming will be D, one full round, G minor, one full round, a sharp part one, F part two, and C one full round. Re recognize that, that is from the post chorus part. You're gonna play that cooperation for two rounds of strumming, and that ends the bridge parts. So, to summarize that one, it was D, eight downs, G minor four downs, and D eight downs, and then you're gonna do the post chorus play for two cooperation rounds, and that's the bridge parts. Okay, so after the bridge part, we are in the end of this song and you're gonna continue with the post chorus play there and you're gonna play it for three rounds so d one full round of strumming the g minor one a sharp part one f part two and c one full round three rounds of that and that wraps it up for lincoln parks the emptiness machine wow great voices there powerful music and uh, yeah, a guitar with five chords, a strumming, and that's it. So good luck, guys. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to support me here on Gordon Guitar. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. And until next time, play tuned.